Hey guys, welcome to another segment of Healthier Together, Stronger Together, thanks to GMHBA. I'm Cameron Guthrie from the Geelong Football Club, and I'm going to be taking you through a bit of a recovery circuit today. We've got a foam roller and some different balls, um, soft, hard and different shapes, which we'll use to hopefully trigger some of our muscles and get them back uh, working the way we want them to. I'll start off with my feet. I'm going to get my baseball here. I'm just going to roll the arches of my feet. After that, I'm going to get down and get the foam roller and do our calves. So I'm going to start off on the lower portion of the calf. One leg on, one leg over the top. And just rolling. Really targeting that lower calf and Achilles. And after a minute, we're going to go up a bit higher in the calf, hitting more of the gastrocnemius. Uh, my glutes are a little bit tight, so I want to start with the. Uh, actually, I want to start with the tennis ball because the baseball is going to be a little bit harder. I'm going to put that under my glute. I'm just going to roll around on it and give it a bit of a massage. And then I'm going to grab the baseball. My glutes adapted a little bit. It's definitely harder and definitely more painful. So maybe start with the tennis ball and work your way up and see how you go. I'm just going to roll the front of my quad, top to bottom, nice and slow. Again, you can kind of play with the amount of body weight you put into it. If you're new to foam rolling and or a little bit sore, all right, now we're gonna go for the ITBs, which is kind of the lateral part of your thigh. There's often the least fun part of your body to roll out, in my opinion. So you're gonna get kind of slightly lateral all the way up, all the way down. And I suggest if you're new to foam rolling to get either a softer foam roller or again, use your forearms to prop yourself up. Now onto the fun part. I'm gonna do the lower back and upper back and stretch those out. So you might just lie, give your lower back a bit of a stretch, not really roll. It's gonna lean over a little bit. You can also get probably the harder trigger ball and put that under your lower back. You kind of Roll around on that. Give the lower back a little bit of a massage. Now we're gonna roll the upper back out. To start, we're just gonna put it kind of in that kind of area there. And arms out wide. You might get a few little cracks. And just roll nice and slow. And we're missing that upper back up. And then we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna do our hands like this to kind of get our shoulder blades out of the way. And do the same thing. Might get a little bit deeper into your back muscles. All right, we gotta finish off with the neck, so. I'm gonna grab my golf ball. I'm gonna put it kind of in my neck and my traps just here. Put it under your shirt's better because it won't slip. I'm just gonna give yourself a massage with the golf ball on your traps. So you're putting downward pressure with this hand, pushing the golf ball into it. But again, I'll go under my shirt because I'm not gonna slip as much. So massaging your traps and then you can go up into your neck as well and do the back inside of your neck. We've kind of gone from top, from the soles of our feet, all the way up to our neck um, with a bit of self-massage. Uh, all you need is um, a foam roller, tennis ball, baseball, and my golf ball has gone missing, but that's all you need. I hope you enjoyed the segment. Um, thanks to GMHBA, healthier together, stronger together. Uh, let's get us through this, Cats fans.